Title. Number one, your age correlates to your weight. Two, length of sleep correlates to weight. Twenty student respondents. We have Dave Christian, Glenn Mar, Grace Ella, Rex, Megan, Chris, Araceli, Janri, Janet, Robert, Rika, and Rose, Rainer, Kyle, Joel, Nella, Mary Grace, Araceli, and Isabel. Introduction. We learned something that I never expected. We learned that math is everywhere. Math is around us. Without elaborating the true meaning of it, I've always been thinking the purpose of different fields of mathematics on our daily lives or relation to the environment. Those thoughts, like us, how our age correlates to our weight and our length of sleep correlates to our weight, which would probably be most of us think about it once in a while. We are aware of the fact that mathematics is actually broad, functional, and has been a part of people's life since it was originated. But we never thought that it would be related or much more related to nature. We learned that math has a genuine role or connection to nature. There are mathematic patterns that appear on the natural world without noticing it. For instance, the correlation of age, weight, and length of sleep of some students constantly learning a new way to find answer to answerable questions to make solution to unsolvable problems, we will have an infinite eagerness to know the truth to understand everything. Just like we learned that true enough that mathematics unfold the mystery of nature. It is the, also organizing the pattern we have the ability to predict, provide tools, or calculation, and provide questions to think about. If we continue to uncover the biggest problem, we will also continue our path toward environment not only for ourselves but also for everybody else. Because mathematics is an ending solving problem and natural and trial and error process that leads us to a limitless innovation. So this is our table for your age as correlates to your weight. So we have a total number of 20 college student respondents. So for our X, we have a sum of 5,088. For the Y, we have a sum of 1,116. So for X squared, we have a sum of 1,348,992. Y squared, we have a sum of 64,470. So for our XY, we have a sum of 285,144. So let's solve for our Pearson R. So for Pearson R, we need to have a formula of N times the sum of xy minus the sum of x times the sum of y, divided by the square root of, inside the square root we have n times the sum of x squared minus the sum of x n squared, times n times the sum of y squared minus the sum of y squared. So, we have 20, which is the total number of respondents, times 200. 85,144, the sum of xy, minus 5,088, which is the sum of x, and times 1,116, which is the sum of y, um, divided by the square root of 20 times the sum of x squared, which is 1,348,892, minus 5,088 squared, times 20 times 64,000, 470 which is the sum of y squared minus 100 1116 which is the sum of y squared so equals 24,672 divided by the square root of 1,092,096 times 43,944 so we have a sum of 0 0.1126 so for this graph as you can see in here, our result for table number 1 is low positive correlation. For table 1, your age as correlates to your weight. Given n is equal to 20, x is equal to 5,088, y is equal to 1,116, x squared is equal to 1,348,992, and xy is equal to 285,144. For the equation of regression line, b is equal to n summation of xy minus summation of x times summation of y divided by n times summation of x squared minus summation of x raised to and then a is equals to summation of y minus b times summation of x divided by n for equation b we have 20 and times 285,144 minus 5,088 times 1,166 is equals to 24,672 divided by 20 times 1,348,992 minus 5,088 raised to is equals to 1,092,096 so the total is b is equals to 0 0.02 for a is equals to summation of y minus b 
times summation of x divided by n. So, summation of y is equal to 1,116 minus b. b is 0 0.02 times summation of x is 5,088 divided by 20. So, 1,116 minus 0 0.02 times 5,088 is equal to 1,014.24 divided by 20. So, the answer is a is equal to 50.71. For the formula, y is equal to a plus bx. For a is 50.71 plus b. 0 0.02 and x is 20. So we, so we can add 50.71 plus 0 0.02 times 20. The answer, the answer is 54.71. You can round it by two decimal points and the y is 55. Therefore, conclude that the age and weight of 20 students are having a weight positive correlation. So this is our table for the length of shift as correlate to your weight. So we have the same number of the college student respondents. So for our x, we have the length of sleep which is converted into minutes. So for x, we have a sum of 8,820. For y, we have a sum of 1,116. So for x squared, we have a sum of 4,086,000. So for our y squared, we have a sum of 64,470. For our xy, we have a sum of 493,200. So let's solve for our person R. So, we need to have the formula of the n, which is the total number of respondents, times xy minus the sum of x times the sum of y, divided by n times the sum of x squared minus the sum of x squared, times n times the sum of y squared minus the sum of y squared. So, we have 20 times 493,200, which is the sum of xy minus 8,820, which is the sum of x, times 1,116, 1, which is the sum of y, divided by square root of 20 times 4,086,000, which is the sum of x squared, minus 8,820 squared, which, which is the sum of x, and 20 times 64,470, which is the sum of y squared, minus 1,116 1, squared, which is the sum of y. So we have 20,880 divided by the square root of 3,927,600 times 43,844 equals, we have 0 0.0503. So for table number 2, as you can see, the result is very low positive. Table 2, length of sleep correlates to weight. So the given is n is equals to 20, x is 8,820, y is equals to 1,116, x squared is 4,086,000, and xy is equals to 493,200. For the equation of regression line, b is equals to n summation of xy minus summation of x times summation of y divided by n times summation of x squared minus summation of x raised to. So the equation is 20 times 493,200 minus 8,820 times 1,116 is equals to 20,880 divided by 20 times 486,000 minus 8,820 raised to is equals to 3,957,600. So the total is B is equals to 0 0.01. For, for the equation A is equals to summation of Y minus B summation of X divided by N. So summation of Y is 1,000 1,116 minus 0 0.01b times 8,820 for summation of x divided by 20. The answer is 1,027.8 divided by 20. A equals 51.39. The formula is y equals a plus bx. So a, 51.39 plus b is 0 0.01 and x is 20. So we can add 51.39 plus 0 0.2. The answer is 51.39. And you can round off it into two decimal points, so y is equals to 52. I therefore conclude that the length of sleep of weight of 20 students are having high positive correlation. Correlation. Examine the strength of the relation between two variables, neither of which is necessarily considered the target variable. Regression. Examine the strength of the relation between one or more predictor variables and a target variable.